Next up is frankincense. So a common phrase that you're probably going to hear is when in doubt, frank it out. So I don't know how to solve my, my problem or I'm not sure what oil will help. Use frank. <laughs> it pretty much helps with everything. There's a lot of things that I can't say um, that frankincense can help with. The FDA does um, limit the types of words and the types of things I can mention. So um, if you really want to know all about what frankincense can do, I would Google frankincense uses and um, take some reputable sources and see what you can find. But the things I can tell you is um, immunity. Immunity is a huge one. So um, there are certain oils that you shouldn't use with kids and um, or people tell you to be cautious with using them, don't use them at all, whatever. Um, they're, they're cautious things. So frankincense, frankincense and lemon and even lavender. Mix it up in a roller bottle with some carrier oil. Slap it on your kids' feet every morning before they head off to school. Put their socks on, away they go, they're good to go. It's gonna help boost their immunity. This is one of my favorite oils for that. Um, you could also, and it stimulates the immune system, so that's good. Another thing is it helps with respiratory stuff. So a few drops of frankincense in their diffuser at night if they got some coughs going on. Um, it's gonna help soothe that. Another one is helping muscles and joints relax. If there's some discomfort there, it helps with that. It helps with um, inflammation. One of my um, big things, basically, um, the first response to stress that we have is internal. It's inflammation. We don't even know that it's going on. So a little drop of frankincense a day is going to help keep that inflammation away, right? Um, so we, I, I use that one a lot. I actually use frankincense the most on my skin, which we'll get to. But let's talk about emotional benefits first. Frankincense is the number one for any emotion. Happy, sad, I don't know, frantic, whatever. Um, frankincense is going to help you with that. A lot of people take a drop of frankincense sublingually, which means under the tongue, down there. It does not taste wonderful. One of my friends says it tastes like gasoline and another one said why would you make me like eat the inside of a Christmas tree? So yeah it's 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 not meant to taste like candy right? Um, but it gets the job done. So when you're like super breathless or your heart's pounding and you're like oh my goodness sniff some frankincense. Try it under your tongue if it's like you're like really freaking out. Put it on your wrist. Put it in your hand. Smell self diffuse for like 30 seconds or as long as like the longest breath you can take in and breathe out, right? It's gonna help you calm down. This is a great one for that. Um, one of my friends has a really awesome recipe. <laughs> um, calm the frank down. It's vetiver, lavender, and uh, frankincense. I'll, I'll double check it and I'll get it for you guys. I'll put it in here and if I don't, you remind me, okay? Um, but it, it's a great calming oil calming for tantrums for adults and kids teens too uh, so it does that all the emotional benefits happy like I said happy sad and in between the frankincense it just it's awesome when we are super grumpy like let's say there's a super moon or mercury is in retrograde or this is just some crazy energy going on we um, use frankincense in the diffuser if it's really super bad I grab a bottle of sacred frank um, and you just diffuse it and everyone's just like okay I'm better now. Sorry that I was so grumpy. And you just move on with your day. It's it's wonderful. It's a, the best oil. I love it so much. So how do I use it on my face? I mentioned that. It is also great for cellular health. Okay, so let's say we got some acne. We got some old scars. I don't know. Some fine lines, laugh lines, whatever. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put one drop in my hand. Take it and put it wherever I need it neat on my face and then I will apply my moisturizer and then I rub it and smell it and that's how I start my morning before I put on my makeup and maybe sometimes I sneak in the bathroom and just smell the bottle uh, you know some moms drink wine I, I sniff Frank I don't know what to tell you um, so cellular health is a big one uh, scars cuts acne you name it one other benefit that I'll talk about briefly 
is for head pounding. You got a really bad one. I don't know. You got some stuff going in over here. You know, you're a little blurry. You feel like you, it's like this. Hopefully you guys are picking up my drift. I can't say that word. Um, but just put a drop in your hand. Put your, let's see, how do I do this? Ah, like that. Put your thumb in it and then press it to the roof of your mouth. I know, so lovely, isn't it? So you're gonna press it to the roof of your mouth for like as long as you can. 30 seconds would be ideal, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes, you know, whatever. Kids come over and you're like, what do you need? Uh, you know, um, so put a drop in there, helps all of that stuff um, be less triggered. It's that thing like I was talking about and here and the head and whew, those are hard. Uh, you have to figure out what the cause is. So there is no ideal answer for those, but frankincense could help. So hopefully um, you go and Google why frankincense is amazing because I can't always say. Not always, I can't say. So check it out, okay?